stop transferring things to me. I have like 15 people in my queue. Something's ringing. I hear noises. Holy crap, this is a nightmare. I don't have a fish. Cutris is asking me to solve his wall of text problem. It may be hard to believe, but it has been a full year since Colton got a real job. I want to hire you. Oh. I can pay you in NFTs. In NFTs? Taryn gave some great advice. Whatever the problem is, just throw your computer out the window and then you won't have any more problems. Also, you can try microwaving it. I mean, I'll do that right now. And I personally answered your tech support troubles one-on-one -on -one through 3CX's phone system. And guess what? We're doing it again. But this time, it's a head-to-head -head competition between me and Jake to see who can solve the most of your issues in just one hour. And since 3CX sponsored this video, we're gonna be using their new live chat feature, which allows users to text, call, and even video chat right from their browser. If you need live chat for your website, 3CX Startup is free for up to 10 users, doesn't require an expensive 1-800 solution, and best of all, it can be installed easily on any website with next to no IT knowledge. Use one of their handy plugins available for a variety of website platforms, or copy and paste their ready-to-use code directly into your website source. Check out the link below to learn more. Hi, what can I help you with? Oh, damn it, I typoed it. Bad service. Phone keeps turning on and off. Have you tried not pressing the power button? It doesn't turn on. The Apple logo appears on a black screen, but it never boots on and it keeps cycling. Have you tried contacting Apple about the problem? Yeah, but what they say don't work. They wanted to go to recovery mode, but that don't work. It don't really connect to my computer. What do I do? You don't connect it to your computer? But it's iPhone. Can I fix the brick? It's possible, but that would be something Apple would have to advise you on. I'm afraid this might require new hardware. Can I put it in rice? No, that's not going to do anything unless you dropped it in water, and even then, it probably won't do anything. Sorry, there's not much else I can do for you. Can I mark this issue resolved? The challenge is to solve people's problems, but we will accept a no solution answer if the customer is satisfied. Unfortunately, Andrew was left still hungry for answers. At least he had some rice to solve his hunger issues. My NZXT AIO makes loud clicking noises when my CPU is under heavy lows. I think it's an air bubble. I'm not sure how to get it out. I tried putting distilled water, but it did not help. Sounds like your AIO is starting to die. Your best bet is going to be contacting NZXT, I guess. I've had like so many AIOs die on me. Are you satisfied with the solution? <laughs> I'm done. I've done one. I've done one. Yes. <laughs> oh, I got a new fish. Oh crap, I typoed it again. I only have 2.5 of my five acres blanketed in Wi-Fi. I want to add long range outdoor access points to the front and rear so I can do yard work while streaming tech tips. Do you have a PoE network switch? No. Where's your main network switch? In my house. I have Ethernet plumbed to most of my outbuildings and they all have Google Wi-Fi points in them. I have TP-Link CP links to use to connect to the barn in the back and then I have a TP-Link Armada AC1200 that I want to install. <laughs> I've just been too lazy to do it. Okay. I need another AC1200 to run to the front yard. Okay, give me a minute to think about this one. Okay, here's my full street address. <laughs> You can check out the layout of the Wi-Fi points on Google Maps. Everything except a small barn in the back has an ethernet connection back to the main house and we have a total of six mesh Wi-Fi points, but it's not enough. Okay, the way to deal with this, unfortunately, is going to involve a commercial solution. What's your budget? Are you available for a call? Timothy was not available for a call. Oh, I got one. Do I have to read it like verbatim? Yes. Hello, Connor. I would never say that. Be like, what's up, Connor? What's up, Connor? My mouse always double clicks. I've updated the drivers and tried different mice, but it's the same result. Different mice and getting the same result? Ah, that's a hard one. <laughs> you get double clicks even with different mice? Really? Yep. What the hell? Brother, this one. Uh, <laughs> this is hard. Have you tried the mouse on a different computer? Yes, I have, and it didn't have the same problem there. Mm. Is it every time or only occasionally? Not every time, but it happens a lot. Not every time, but it happens a lot. Hmm. Oh man, this is weird. Usually when you have a double clicking issue, it's because your mouse switch is broken or maybe like a, a firmware issue on the mouse, but it's weird that he's having it on multiple mice. Do you have a spare disc somewhere? Disc as in CD or DVD. It really does sound kind of like a driver or software issue. So to rule it out, you could reinstall Windows on a different drive, like a hard drive or an SSD, and see if the issue persists. Ha, huh. I'll try that. 
Yeah, thanks so much. I am satisfied with the solution. Yes, cool. Okay, I got rid of that one. Oh my gosh, this is stressful. There's so many chats I haven't even opened. I have a problem setting up port forwarding to host games for my PC. The ports have been opened and the PC firewall and the router correct the same ports in both of them. If your system has a firewall on it, you will need to open the port. It's called port forwarding, so you can forward your external port, so you pick 1337. You could forward that to port 50 if you want it. That's why it's called forwarding. Most tutorials say to use the same for simplicity. I'd probably follow that. Huh. Things are not looking good for Linus. Oh crap, I'm gonna get a little overwhelmed here. Yeah, I'm gonna need a macro for hi, what can I help you with? How do I get back to stock Android? What the f I think I have to transfer you to someone more. Transferring a call to your opponent gives them a point. Linus is hoping Jake takes the bait. Odds are this will waste more of his time than it has of mine. Hi there, Isabel? Yes, hello. Hi, okay. Isabel has two problems, but she needs a bit of guidance. First, she's trying to uninstall McAfee, an easy task that is made faster by assisting her through 3CX's video chat feature. You were wondering how to uninstall McAfee. Have you ever uninstalled a program before? A long, long time ago. I was maybe 12 messing around with the computer or something. Perfect. Okay, so you're just gonna press the Windows button. Okay, Windows button. Yep, and then just start typing the word program. It should bring up add or remove programs in the control panel. All right, so now what? Okay, now we'll click on that. Right below app list, I see a list of apps I have. Perfect, so you're gonna search for M-C-A-F-E-E. -E. Oh, I found mm. all three of them that I apparently have. Yep, so there should be three little dots. That's called the hamburger menu. So you're gonna click yeah. that and there should be an uninstall. You're gonna do those one at a time here. Uninstall. Okay, one of them's taking its time, but they're all good now. <laughs> you might have to do them one at a time. Uh, cause sometimes um, it can be a little bit fussy about uninstalling multiple programs at once. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so sorry, where are you at, Isabel? Oh, uh, McAfee is just gone. It's gone now. Okay, so McAfee's oh, gone? Perfect. Okay, you guys gotta stop transferring things to me! I have like 15 people in my queue! <laughs> What was your other problem again? Uh, I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to help my laptop just not be like so hot all the time. Uh, not really much I can do about that. What model of laptop is it? Mm -hmm. G5 um, Dell something. I don't believe Dell has any kind of tool for adjusting your fan curve. So that's just how it runs, unfortunately. Um, do you suggest buying one of those cool things? I use one of those metal fans so that way the cool air gets conducted, you know. No. They don't really do anything, I'm afraid. Ah, uh, darn. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna have to let you go. You have done an amazing job. I don't know how to do everything, all so right. you do. And thank you so much, and thank you for all you do for everyone. Thanks, Isabel. <laughs> two problems, two points. We're counting it. Let's check in with Jake and his transferred call. I mean, might need to refer this person to like Google support. <laughs> Linus transferred Carson, who rooted and flashed their Pixel with Pixel experience. They're trying to get back to stock Android, but <laughs> is that Ian Cutras? Daddy chips? No way. <laughs> I don't care what his problem is. If he can't solve it, I don't even want to try. What is Dr. Cutris doing here? Cutris is asking me to solve his wall of text problem. TLDR, Dr. Cutris is having issues booting into Windows properly, and when he does, he can't use basic things like Windows Explorer. The, the risk of me providing tech support to you is that if I get anything wrong, you're gonna totally call me on it. If I had to guess, I would say it's time to pull all the data off of that drive as quickly and safely as possible and never use it again. Because what I suspect, based on that you've got some kind of very small, very selective, probably corruption, is that it's either the drive or, and this is, this is a much worse case scenario, it could be that your PCIe controller on your CPU is shitting out errors into your data, which is not impossible, but less likely. I can go in through the login screen and I just get black with the mouse cursor, open task manager, and through task manager, I can run every program except any of the fancy Windows 10 windows. The fact that the OS is still booting at all, but you're not able to launch particular functions. I used to be getting about one blue screen every two to three months for the last few years. It sounds a lot like what you'd kind of run into if your storage got disconnected outright kind of temporarily and you could interact with anything that was in RAM, but as soon as you tried to grab anything mm -hmm. from storage, it's just like, erk, not there. I am diagnosing bad controller. 
but this is based on the very limited information that I have. Can I mark your issue resolved? Um, I'm not satisfied, but you've done the best you can. <laughs> what, you want me to send you a free SSD or what, Ian? <laughs> no, I've got tons of SSDs. I just want my problem fixed. I want to know, though. You are as qualified, if not more so than me, to diagnose this issue. Do you think I've got it right? I mean, yes, I would have accepted it's go build a new PC. Maybe if I'd used RDIMS instead of consumer memory, and then that's a conversation for Zen 4. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Bye. Good enough. Rampant thermal issues I've been dealing with for a year and a half. Top end system, but I can't play anything that requires 3D rendering as the GPU overheats and shuts the PC down. I wish I could like screen share with these people. <laughs> okay. He's got to call me. Hello. Okay, let's see this computer. You shouldn't be having airflow problems. I'm gonna be honest. Does that fan blowing into the side of it fix the problem? Um, it's a stopgap. It allows me to play my MMO from 1999, mm -hmm. uh, whereas even that would uh, cause power issues. So it's it is cooling it to an extent. Have you tried downloading like hardware info or? Yeah, I've got hardware info. Uh, let me check here. Nice background. I like it. Oh yeah, thanks. Uh, so if you go to your GPU. What are your temps like right now? Not really doing anything. Uh, GPU 53.7, 53.6, 53.8 on value min and max. If you scroll down a bit more, you might be able to see the fan speed as well. Uh, 997, 995. That's not nothing. Is it really hot in the room you're in? Yeah, it's very hot in here. I live in Texas. <laughs> 93 Fahrenheit outside. Uh... That's only like... 34 degrees, so that's not bad. Your computer shouldn't be overheating because of that. If you load up a game, have you watched the temp graph? Uh, yeah, it, it jumps to high 80s real fast. Because 80 is not that bad. And then it'll start creeping into the 90s, and and then by the time I realize it, my, my system shut down, so. What's your CPU temperature at right now? 59.1, 59.0. You've got a huge fan blowing at them at this point, and if you're still having problems, it seems like there's something else in the chain that's causing you issues. That's why I wanna check the temps of both your CPU and GPU while you're running. And if what you end up having is a crash, it could potentially be power related. I've actually seen people like have their computer on carpet and like when it heats up, it chokes the power supply, which causes it to shut off. Clearly you don't have that, but if your power supply is under spec for the build, that could cause problems. And you said you tried a different GPU, right? Uh, yeah, I've got a 6900 uh, XT and the 3090. And you have the same problem on both. Exact same problem on both. Do you have anything that you could open up to like put a load on it? Maybe the heaviest, heftiest game you got. I mean, again, it was doing the exact same thing with the uh, 6900 too. So. Maybe you're having an issue with precision boost overdrive. It's kind of like automatic overclocking. And certain chips that if you if you got kind of unlucky with the silicone lottery, silicone, silicon lottery, <laughs> you can end up with a chip that can't handle PBO. I had the same issue on my 5900X. Go into your BIOS. It'll be like a PBO setting or performance mode or something like that. Try setting that to off. Actually, we could do this live. Oh, but we're gonna lose our call, aren't we? Pro tip, try not to call for tech support on the computer you're using. Tweet at me if it fixes your problem. Will do, man, will do. All right, I got a bunch more people to help. Thanks for talking, Derek. Yeah, yeah, sure, man. Jake scores another point, but he spent a lot of time on one call. Let's see how Linus is doing. Hi there, is Hello. it Matt or Matthew? You can go by man. Matthew pays for 400 megabit internet, but he's only getting 90 on multiple wired devices. His roommate's Xbox has no issues, and speeds over Wi-Fi can reach 420 megabit per second. Nice. He's changed out his network cable, trying both Cat 6 and Cat 8, but to no avail. So your Xbox Series X, how are you testing that speed? You're using like a built-in speed test or are you downloading games? So downloading games and then also I just go into the, set, the system settings and then run the, the speed test on there. What I suspect then is that you could have bad ports on your router. Have you tried switching the good port that's fast and connecting your Xbox to that port? That was my next. Honestly, at that point, regardless of the outcome, it sounds like you might have some bad ports on your Netgear router, which is not the end of the world. You can still use it as long as the Wi-Fi is good and as long as the routing functionality is working, which it sounds like it is because your Wi-Fi is fast. What I would do is I would just buy a cheap network switch and then you take that good port that's on your router, plug that into your network switch and plug everything else into your network switch and then you're golden. Oh, everything right. will share that fast link. All right, thanks, Matt. Awesome, thank you, Linus. That was easy. Holy crap. Okay, that's a scary one.
Frederick is experiencing audio dropouts through his audio interface, even when his Core i7 is only under medium load. He's changed sample rate, buffer size, cables, even different audio interfaces, but it's always the same result. The only thing that helps is resetting his audio interface. Hello there. Hello. Well, the first question I have for you is, have you tried different ports on your motherboard? I have tried both different ports and I have tried a PCIe USB 3.2 card as well. Oh boy, <laughs> 5960X should be able to handle this just fine. Yeah, it's it's uh, decent. It's also overclocked a little bit, not too much. It's overclocked? A little bit. Have you tried disabling your overclock at least temporarily to see if that solves it? Unfortunately, it doesn't. It doesn't. And then you've tried reformatting, is that correct? Yes, I've tried that too. Ooh. It stumped me for like a long time. I've reached a point where I'm just like, eh, I'll just live with it now. Have you contacted the manufacturer and explained the issue to them? They couldn't find any good reason that it would happen. They did say that they would put out a new driver that might fix it. Then I installed the new driver and of course it didn't. <laughs> have you made sure that you have the latest BIOS running on your motherboard? Latest BIOS, latest drivers. Latest firmware on the interface as well. You say you're using USB 3, but is this actually even a USB 3 device? I think it's only USB 2, but it's a USB C plug, so you never know. Ha! I might have a tech tip for you. Theoretically, USB is forwards and backwards compatible, but in practice, it is not always necessarily the case. Well, I would actually like you to use a USB 2 port and maybe a type A to type C adapter. It says it comes with an adapter cable though. That may resolve your problem. I don't actually think that I have any USB 2 ports. Then I'd have to use some converter for internal headers maybe? Can you get that even? Yes, you can. You'll want to find something similar to this, Frederick. Well, fingers crossed, I'll give that a go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to mark your ticket as resolved and uh, thank you for calling in. Thank you very much and appreciate your videos. And All right. Work, dude. It's, it's great. Take care. Bye-bye. Minus is catching up. Five minutes. Five minutes? Colton Potter? Is this actually Colton? Colton, what are you doing, bud? Um, I just saw the tweet. I was on Twitter and I just, I have an issue with my workstation. You're on Twitter? Maybe. Aren't you supposed to be at work? Oh my God, what do you want? Sometimes my workstation, some of my audio sources will just disappear. I like playing music or videos outside, out of my speakers sometimes. But if I have my computer on for too long, those audio sources just disappear. Your audio interfaces disappear? Yeah. yeah, I don't understand. So right now, select playback devices. I've got Realtek digital output and I've got Corsair Void Pro USB gaming headsets. But if I restart my computer, I'll also have my Predator monitor and my other monitor that I can output. And then over time they go away. Yeah, after probably about like a, a week of my workstation being on. Okay, then what I would probably try because those are gonna be running NVIDIA's audio driver. That's a separate audio driver. What I suspect is that if you do a clean install of your video drivers, it may actually resolve this intermittent problem. Failing that, I would probably try to grab a new HDMI cable because it could be that something is going on between the output of your GPU and that monitor to make that audio interface kind of disappear and late. I'm gonna mark this resolved. Thank you, bye. Thank you for the tech tips. Big fan of your channel. What a nice young man. We should really give him a job. Hello? You've reached the tech tips. Uh, well, I built myself a computer, which is super fun. Uh, and my USB devices kind of decide to disconnect all the time, uh, and I stream. What I would recommend if you have a bunch of devices, specifically like webcams can take up a lot of your USB bandwidth, is you can go on Amazon and you can buy like a separate USB card. If you're not looking to buy something, what I would recommend is try to take some of your devices. Did they just hang up? They hung up. How close were you to a panic attack there? Well, when I asked for a queue of about five tickets and I ended up with a queue of about 15 tickets. Oh, I had like 25. Did you like that ass who wanted help unrooting his Android phone that I forwarded to you? Somehow my aura, which is much better than your aura, managed to help him fix it. Really? He fixed it. How many people do you think you were able to help? 10? Yeah. I don't know, we're gonna have to see because it's gonna come down to the judges. The guy on Twitter never got back to me. Oh, I'm still gonna count that, I have to You're count counting that. that? Oh, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> uh, so Linus, in the first 13 minutes of competition, uh, you did not get a single point. In fact, you gave a point to Jake when you transferred Carson. I was like, what, you can transfer? I transferred a few to him. 
That's where I had all the hard ones. Your first point came after a nine minute phone call with Isabel. Look, I had to help her get McAfee uninstalled. Ah, uh, yeah, you were doing God's work. However, you did manage to solve two of her issues, so you did get two points for that. Did her computer just run hot or something? It was something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was just like, sorry. That <laughs> fixed the issue? Jay, Whatever. you managed to solve your first question in just two minutes and 36 seconds. However, you did not take many video calls. We're trying to make a video here, Jay. Well, I... Halfway through, you did actually take a video call. Yep. You took a video call from Derek. Yes. Derek received your undivided attention for nearly 15 minutes. What? Skip talking. <laughs> Sorry, Derek. Jake, you ended up receiving a total of 12 points. Oh, that's not bad. Points. Okay. Linus, you received a total of 17 points. Yeah! Mm, mm, I want those mm. two wiped off the slate. <laughs> Did you count some of the ones where I was just like, Hey, are you still there? Can I mark this resolved? And then I marked them resolved. There were a bunch that did not count because of that. <laughs> Honestly, man, seeing the kinds of tech problems people have though, like you said, I wish that I could just like help more people. Keep like going. business idea. $10 tech tips. <laughs> Would you pay five bucks or 10 bucks if you could call into a line and know it would actually be good? That is actually staffed by actual people who know their. Yeah. 